Five reasons why Pep Guardiola is the best manager of all time. Number one. At Barcelona, he had Pedro coming through the academy. He had Busquets coming through the academy. He had Thiago coming through the academy. And at City, it's been Foden. And what people forget is that he actually had players coming through the academy. It's all about how much money he spends on players that gets mentioned and, and none of the stuff about him like getting players coming through the academy actually gets mentioned, which I don't think it's fair. Number two is that he's the only manager to win two European trebles, once with Barcelona and once with Manchester City. Number three is that he res he's the only manager to get 100 points in a season in the Premier League. Still, no one has, has beaten that or equaled it. Number four is that he's the manager with the highest amount of wins in a top flight season in England. And number five is that he went on to beat Alex Ferguson twice in the head-to-head -head record, the so-called best manager of, of all time, according to a lot of people. But that doesn't seem to get mentioned much, which I don't think is fair either. And also he won a domestic treble with City as well, with the League Cup, Premier League and the FA Cup. That seems to have got forgotten because of like the Centurions and also the treble from this season. And also when he's been under pressure, Pep, he's got over the line because... We were eight points behind Arsenal at one point this season, still went on to win the league. And also in 2018-19 season, where Liverpool got 97 points and we were 10 points behind them, we, we went on to win the league that season as well. Whereas Ferguson didn't have to come behind that much in title races to go on to win the league. I think it was only like once or something, like in that season with Newcastle. And if you agree with with this um, video, so make sure to smash the like button. And if you disagree, let me know in the comments. But because of the effort that I've put into this video, I'd respect if you could like the video anyway, regardless of if you disagree with what I've said in this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.